well, this is part two of the Lightspeed Quiz film special. Uh, I hope you've watched the, the first half and maybe got one, because these guys are really torn it up that Tony's in the lead on 15. But now we're moving out of Tony's era, past 1960. <laughs> 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 We're on 1960s and 1970s films. Obviously there's some leakage either way, especially with the technical stuff, as you'll see. But we've got 20 questions coming up. Tony's in the lead. Good luck everybody. 20? First question, 40 questions coming up. Uh, good luck everybody. Especially Matt Preston. <laughs> Which actor was Oscar nominated for his 1963 portrayal of Frank Machin in... Fat Marky. Richard Harris. Yeah. In what film? Well, this spot is Yeah, it's all Wait till Trinity never. In the first Jaws film, what does Brody say after <laughs> Fat Marky? Can they need a bigger bowl? Oh, God. Yeah, Siri, give me. If it was a gimme, you should have pressed. Yeah, well, we know you're your swerves. Can't read it. Right, we'll bear that in mind. Oh. <laughs> what occupation was shared by Winona Ryder in the film Night on Earth? Mel Gibson in Conspiracy... Ooh, Clive done it. Yeah, guess what the last part of that question was going to be? The 1976 film by Martin Scorsese, so... Talking and reading? We all reset, Clive? Yeah, yeah. In the film Psycho, how many rooms and vacancies oh. were there at the Bates Motel? Tony? Three. Sam? Eight. Michael? Thirteen. Mike Lees? One. Dave Bill? Four. Preston? Five. Debster? Six. Fat Marky? Sixteen. Drax? None. Fraser? Forty. How, how did she get in if there was 12? <laughs> <laughs> there were 12. I thought it was 13, but check that out. I didn't know if there were 12 or 15. What's the Charlie? What's the answer? There's 16 12. rooms in the... Oh, what was the answer? Uh, 12. 12. Series. Next one. <laughs> what monarch has been played on film by Peter Sellers? Michael? Wrong, Michael. I love that sound. Uh, Played on film by Peter Sellers in The Great McGonagall, Kathy Bates in the 2004 version of. Dave Bill. Correct. I think went that sort of small. Oh, yeah, of course. Which quiz of the week, man? Next question. What name was given by Italian journalist Alfonso Sanchez? Sam? Paparazzo, Paparazzo. Wrong, Sam. Tony. I was going to say that as well. We'll say something else. Um, Fellini. <laughs> <laughs> Fellini, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. Spaghetti was. I was just thinking that, like. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, Alfonso Sanchez, the film, to the film subgenre typified by Sergio Leone's Dollar Trilogy. Well done, Clive. I should have gone for it. Clive is such a reckless player, isn't he? <laughs> Next so one is this. Take Clive. What film was inspired by a 1976 New York Magazine article revealed... Michael? Correct, Michael. Uh, revealed to be fraudulent two decades later by Nick Cohn, who used to write for the NME. Uh, and it was called The Tribal Rights of New York Saturday Night. The New NME had a shower of bastards working for the 1970s. When you think about Tony Parsons and Julie Birchall and Nick Cohn. I'm a little bit concerned the only question Michael Parkman's uh, actually answered on this round is about this disco. Yeah, we're uh, playing a lot about him. Wizard of Oz. Thank you for sharing that with me, Mike. What name was shared by the two lead thespians, can't say that, in the film Grease? Tony. Damien Zach. Damien Dave Zach. Bill. Damien. Fat Market. Oh, God, yeah. Michael. John. John is correct. Oh, bloody yeah. John's a lot older than Newton John. Oh, yeah. Yeah. the actors, not the. Yeah. Yeah. John and Woodrow. Next question is this 
By the way, I love that last question. Eight people got the easiest question of the night wrong. Yeah. Here we go. Dirk Bogard, Robert Redford, James Caan, and Sean Connery all starred in which 1977 film recounting the Allied assault on Ant Fat Market? Bridge Too Far. Don't frown at me when you're giving me the right answer. Yeah, yeah. Correct, Fat Market. I've just changed, I've just changed from the hill in my head. Yeah, good change. Much appreciated. Linda Harrison portrayed Taylor's love interest, Nova, in which night? In fact, Mikey. Take your damn filthy paws off me, Grandpa the AMC. Correct. For which night? Nine... films, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Get us. I've asked actually, he's like this all the time, apparently. I'm told. Next one is. For which 1975 film did Jack Nicholson... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I've got it. Is that a gimme? Yeah. Go on. It's a gimme. Is it Tony? Was it Was it Paul? Hey? Was it Paul? Yeah. Tony? Oh, one for a couple of things. Yeah, yeah. It's a gimme. Yeah. 75. Which Oscar winner became, uh, well, in 1972, became the first to also have two Oscar-winning parents? Tony? No. Tony's on the hat trick. In which country were Seth Rogen, Eric McCormack, and Jim Carrey all born? Not 60s, I know. Fat Marky. Canada. Don't blame me for my son's stand. Okay, who played Carl Bernstein in? Tony? Almost a hat trick. No cigar. In which film, sorry? All, All the President's, President's Men. Men. Mike's big thing. Come on, roll on the 90s. Okay, next one. The score is, this is not the score of the game, this is part of the question. The score is 5-7-5 five, five between, respectively, Carl Eckberg, Fritz Diaz and Michael Sheard. In terms of the times, Fat Marky is Adolf a giver. Oh. <laughs> They've all played Adolf Hitler that many times. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't really want anybody else to get that one. So you pointed it out to me last time. Michael Sheard is a clincher, I guess. Okay, which city is the locus of the French connection? Tony. San Francisco. Wrong Tony. Fat Marky. It's Chicago. Wrong Fat Marky. Preston. Uh, it's Marseille. It is Marseille. Oh, yeah. Next question. Here we go. What the hell? As of 2015, the Best Actor Award at the Cannes Film Festival has been only awarded twice to three different people. Okay, twice to individuals. Jack Lemmon, Dean Stockwell, and which other Italian actor for his roles in Sam. Benini. I'm afraid not, Sam. Josh Sam. Pickled it there. <laughs> Which other Italian actor for his roles in The Pizza Triangle and Dark Eyes? Tony. Mastriani. Yes, it's oh, the correct oh, answer. Oh, Who directed the films The Day of the Locust, 1975? Marathon. But I've done it. So all over that slide. Why could he like cowboy? It's not even there. Marathon Man, Yanks, and Honky Tonk Freeway were on the list. But you can draw from that that probably Midnight Cowboy is going to have the same kind of thing at another date. Next one is this. Here we go. Ben Richards, Douglas Qu. Michael. Michael. Oh, welcome to the Christmas. Douglas Quay, Jack Slater, Man and Alan Dutch Shape and Harry Tasker. Blah, 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 blah. As of 2017, Marcelo Mastriani, Dean Stockwell, and which other American actor for his roles in the Chuck. Norman? Jack Nicholson. I'm afraid Norman. not. Is that Marky? Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Same for everybody, Sam. Same for everybody. 
American American Indian rights activist Sashin Littlefeather, Tony. Uh, she she uh, took Marlon Brando's Oscar. Yeah, that's enough. No, <laughs> 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 Marlon Brando's always looking for Robin with that. Kenneth Williams on film in 1964. Oh, we've got a press from Tony. Julius Caesar. And Kieran Hines on TV in 2005, who both played oh. a potential historic character, the oh. Raider. Was he an infamous? <laughs> also, the priest who gets wasted in, in Bruce. Next one. What name is shared by the patriarch of Italian extraction, but English funded, and a, fam a family of patriarch of a family of explorers, okay, who was of Italian extraction, but English funded. What name is shared with him? And a stout British actor whose Disney work included narrating and voicing Sir Hector in, oh, Sam. Harris. I'm afraid not. What Michael. Come on. John Cobbs. Wrong, Michael. But he didn't ask about names. Uh, what name is shared by the patriarch of Italian extraction, English funded family of explorers, and a stout British actor whose Disney work included narrating and voicing for Hector in Sword of the Stone, narrating the Winnie the Pooh series, and voicing Bagheera in the Jungle Book? Oh, free guess. Oh. Fat Marky. Columbus. No, Five Dunning? Sebastian Cobbs. Sebastian Cabot. Oh, 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 the responsibility for Potentially ambiguous answers is upon the answerer. Which actor has won a Razzie for playing a general and in 1969 played both an Air Chief Marshal, Sir Hugh Dowding, in the Battle of Britain, and a Field Marshal, Sir John French, in Oh What a Lovely War? Sam? Olivia. Olivia is the correct answer, oh, great oh, answer. Oh, 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 oh. Next one is. Which film of 1965 had, by November 66, 1966, become the highest grossing film up to that? Tony. Sound music. You can correct. sing it if you like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tony is correct. <coughs> Name the actor. Uh, do not alert him to my presence, I'll deal with him myself. Were words spoken by King Jaffe Jofa when looking for his... Dave Bell? Coming to America, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. What do you say? Eddie Murphy. He's wrong. Wrong Dave Bill. Michael. Uh, coming to America. Oh. Wrong Michael. Sam. Eddie Murphy. Fat Marky. Ken Joe Jones. Spoken by King Jaffe Joker when looking for his son that came in the John Landis film Coming to America, who more famously said the same words about his other on screen son, Luke Skywalker, in The Empire Strikes Back, in the guise of the voice of Darth Vader. In which film did Sting make his move? No, and I've not finished the question, I'm sorry. Tony. Oh, fuck I'm not the Dave Bill. Oh, Dave Bill, that oh, good old role. That was What a dickhead. What was the one with the paraplegia? What film character? What film character comes in se several Lego variants? I'm going to give you some of the variants right now. Uh, it's quite a long list. Good find them. Stormtrooper Disguise. Oh, Fat Marky. Luke Skywalker. It's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Engine Infirmary, Cloud City, Jedi Knight, Camouflage on Endar, yeah. Fanboy of Tatooine was the giveaway. Next one. Signalman, First Class, Billy L. Badass Budusky in The Last Detail. Robert Aru Fat Marky? Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson again, yeah. Which Oscar winning film of the 1960s? Don't be 11th on this. <laughs> Which Oscar winning film of the 1960s? Failed the Bechdel test miserably in that no females. They oh, well, well, it's very heavy. Uh, yeah, you were actually miles behind Fat Marky there. You were a sec full second behind Billy. No, I'm not, Billy doesn't work, does it? Billy? Billy, now. <laughs> Don't be a hero. Next one is this. 
Bob Champion, Garrick Ollivander, and Fraser. John Hurt. What stock sound effect? The screen, the thingy screen. The thingy screen yeah. Clive Dunning. Will Helm screen. Will Helm screen is correct. Couldn't remember his name. Next one. Pistons. 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 In Revenge of the Pink Panther, as whom is Cluso disguised when he explains? Fat Mackey? Guy Gadois. Fat As whom is Cluso disguised when he explains? He can't give a tip to the postman because I'm a little short. <laughs> Preston. So we saw Trek. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Oh, yes. Yeah, good one, actually. Uh, I was last in this one, isn't it? Uh, they're on 35. 30, 34. Who was Al Pacino's, what was, sorry, Al Pacino's character name in The Godfather? Tony! Michael Corleone. It's connected. That's a throwback from last week, isn't it? <laughs> Whose film, Le Monde Sans Soleil, The World Without Sun, in 1964 became the second of his film, films to win the Oscar for Best Documentary Feature? Is it? Yeah. Oh. Go on, Drax. Jacques Clouseau. Correct, Drax. Oh. What do you mean, that? Don't, on, don't give, give pronunciation the there, but it'll do. Jack Clouseau it was. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Which English king has been portrayed by... Oh my goodness, Debster. Richard III. No. Tell me! No, no. Uh, well, I'm going to see what I'm going to say. Let's play Henry II. Fat Market. Richard the Lionheart. Correct, Fat Market. No, I'm going to Here we go. Four to go or something. Played on film by Tommy Lee Jones, Jason Robards, Dean Stockwell, Terry O'Quinn, and most famously Leonardo DiCaprio. Which US aviator? No. Tell me. How do you use? Correct, Tony. A report in the British Medical Journal in 2013 classifies which literary character as being in the top whack of problem drinkers, who, excluding 36... Dave Bill? With them? I'm afraid not, but he's a problem drinker. Uh, top whack of problem drinkers, who, excluding 36 days in prison, hospital or rehab, down 1,150 units of alcohol in 88 days, Four times the recommended maximum intake. Oh, oh, oh question. Uh, go on then, my, uh, Michael. James Bond. It's correct. Oh, 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 Which star of Saturday Night Live, Animal House, and The Blue? Tony. John Belushi. It's correct. Yeah. Of course, it's correct. You all know it's correct. The one that clincher comes in, don't you? It's hard to not write questions with clinchers in. Name. The Professor of Phonetics, Tony. Henry Higgins. In. <laughs> Big baby of my friend, like Henry Higgins is correct. Henry your, Higgins. your scores after the end of that round are in reverse order. Debster, minus two, honest Deb, she could have been on. No, no, no. She could have been on whatever. Wait, Preston, wait. minus two, nice comeback. Uh, Michael, one. Drax, one. Norman, one. You're in very good company. Sam, six. But. You dogs will have your day, I'm sure. And there's no questions about dog day afternoon. Attica, Attica, yeah. Fraser, seven. Hey. Not a single junk is out. Michael, seven. Dave Bill, 16. Fat Marky, how about you? 18. Clive Dunning, 20. And Tony with the potential two to take off, but way out front on my lucky number 35. Well done. That's wow. cool. yeah.